Hey everybody, this is Sonya from Sonya's Quilt Sand Embroidery and um, I am just now getting around to doing the 250 subscriber giveaway. It has been a whirlwind around here um, the last couple of weeks. It's just like, wow. So uh, we've had a lot, lot, lot going on from my daughter and her kids coming to visit to um, um, can't even think. Um, well, the latest thing is my my sister's grandson was taken to the hospital last night because he was sick, could not keep anything down, and he got to the hospital. He had been to the doctor last week because they'd made an appointment because he lost uh, a lot of weight. And he's nine years old. He weighed 80 pounds, and as of last night, he weighed 65 pounds. And so he, they tested him last night. He did test positive for um, type 1 diabetes. I know, you know, they unexpectedly, you know, he's got type 1 diabetes and he is, his sugar level was, uh, his blood sugar level was 900. So he was carried by ambulance to the Children's Hospital in Louisiana, where he is now. My sister's on her way down there. And um, so that's been going on today. And a lot, a lot going on. Mondays is just really busy. My husband goes back to work on Tuesday morning, and we have a lot that we try to get done on Monday. He has to get his laundry done and packed up to go back to work. And I try, I try to cook supper for him on Monday, but I didn't get, did not do it tonight. But he had leftovers from last night, so he was fine. But this is the list of the names who um, commented underneath the 250 celebration. It's um, not that many names, but um, I appreciate all of them. I'm going to show you the bags I've got made. I've got this size. Oh, and the weird thumbnails I've been having. I don't edit my videos. It's raw, uncut, honest to goodness. That's how it is. So... Oh, there's a candle flying here. Um, the uh, YouTube just picks, and they always pick it with my eyes closed or my mouth open, and I just don't care. I just absolutely don't care. don't have time for all that editing stuff, and I already know what I'm going to say before I start anyway, so it's all uncut. Got my favorite sewing shirt on, a sweatshirt with sleeves cut out, raw edge. Probably got stains all over it, but it's very comfortable. It's, it's warm, but it... The sleeves don't get in my way, so I really like, I wear the sweatshirt a lot. I've got this size bag. It's tall. It's got a nice bottom in it. It's got a short handle. And I made this specifically for heavy stuff, like mayonnaise jars, uh, pickle jars. Uh, you can put your wine in it. It's tall enough to put bottles of wine in it. Whatever. So, anything, any kind of heavy stuff, this is the one for that. I've got a couple this size. This is a medium size. It's about... 16 inches wide, about 15 inches tall. I've reinforced the handles. It's a nice tall. These are all denim. It's really nice denim. I love to I love to work with denim. This one is about 18 by 18. It's a lot bigger for your cereal and your pasta and whatever you want to put in it. They're, they're really got a really good reinforced handles, so uh, it'll hold up to carry anything on in it. And I got t I got two of the medium sized ones, one of the big ones, and then one of the uh, small ones for the heavy glass stuff. And whoever wins, I will also monogram them for you. If you would like to have your grocery shopping bags, um, I think you could take these anywhere. You take these to a craft show or to a flea market or whatever, and put all your stuff in it. But uh, I will monogram it for you and make them extra nice. And so. I'm going to cut these names apart. I don't have anybody to draw it for me, and I don't know anybody on these, this list. A couple names I do recognize from my Facebook page, but I don't know them either, just by name, and they've been following me for a long time. So, um, but that's I, you know, I don't, I don't even know where they, I don't know where they live. I would have to look it up because I've probably sent them a quilt in the past. But I don't personally know any of these people, so I don't, you know, it doesn't matter to me who wins. I've got to get my new, I've got my new Alabama quilt um, designed in my head. All the pieces have been done. 
just got to put them together tomorrow. I was going to have that done today, but I ran out of daytime. I ran, well, I ran out of day and energy. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. I've got a t-shirt quilt that's almost finished. I'm going to do that, get that finished tomorrow. And I've got a new product that I'm going to introduce here in a few minutes on my Facebook page. And I don't, you know, it may like it, may not. It you know, if they like it, then good. And if they don't, that's fine too. Uh, I just want, I usually make a sample up and with my sample. I made a sample of some stuff the other day and I thought maybe I'd sell 10 or 15 of them. And I sold like over 100 of them. And it was the stadium blankets. And we have been working our butts off to get those done. And we've almost, I think we like about two or three having them finished. All right. I got these shaken up. And I'm just going to drop them, pick up the first one. And it's probably a name I cannot pronounce. And it is, I can pronounce this name, Delana Wise. Delana Wise, you are the, that's backwards. Delana Wise, you are the winner of the denim grocery shopping bags and i appreciate everybody's support and um that you know i have got and i really 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 don't want to do this and if you, know, if you don't want to do it that's fine i don't care i mean i will not i will appreciate it if you do if you don't i understand completely i really do but i do not make very much at all on my quilts. The reason I do them is to keep me from being unable to get around. I, I, I like to stay active. M mentally active and physically active. If I was not mentally active, I'd probably lose my mind because um, you know, you have things in your life that bug you and aggravate you and you know I got a daddy that's 78 years old. He'll be 79 in February. And he's got an 18-year-old, a 13-year-old, and a 4-year-old. If that won't work on your brain, I don't know what will. I mean, I'm 55 years old, and i got a little sister that's 51 years younger than me. Who else can say that? And it really, really gets... It, I, I think about it, and I think, well, what's going to happen if something happens to him? And if their mama won't work, and what am I going to do with them? And I don't know. It's just, it really gets on my nerves. So I stay busy. I also have a son that... You know, when you have five children, you're going to have that one that pushes you to the limit. And that's why I sew. If I, did not, if I did not stay busy, and apparently I'm pretty good at what I do. I have a huge following. And, you know, so I sew. That's what I do. All day, every day I sew. If I'm not sewing, I might give up supplies to sew. So, uh, but I don't make but just a few dollars each on my quilts. By the time that I do put them together and I quilt them and, and count all the equipment and the and the batting and the lining and then all the thread and the embroidery and the embroidery programs and the embroidery thread and all, by the time you add all that up, I just, I don't make but just a few dollars per quilt. And I'm in dire need of a heat press machine. Mine burn up. My son bought me one for Christmas a couple of years ago. And um, it um, um, started spitting fire at me one day. And I tried to get it, went, uh, he, my son's electrician. I asked him to see if he could fix it. He said, mother, the, the uh, uh, digital control panel is fried. It's absolutely, it's, it's burnt. He said There's, it would cost more to get that piece than it would just to buy me a machine. So if I, leave, I always put my email in the uh, description part down below the video. And it always put my name and my address. And that way if you want to uh, send me t-shirts, do a t-shirt quilt. Or if you want to email me a question or whatever. I put all my information down there so I'm easy to get a hold of. But that is my email address to my PayPal. And if you would like to gift me a few dollars to help pay for me to get a new press a heat press i've actually had a request on how that i put pictures on my quilts well i i can still do that and show everybody how to do that but it would require me to run the pictures off here on my printer get in the car go to my niece's house plug up her machine turn it on heat it up and then continue my video and show you how i actually put it I, I actually do it so it'd be so much easier if i had one here and i just can't seem to get caught up enough and, and enough ahead to purchase one 
So, you know, they're they're about on Amazon, uh, they're about $160, something like that. Uh, I could get I, I did get a small one in a few months a couple of three months ago. Got it unboxed. I thought this is big enough. This is the one I need. You know, this is perfect size because I don't everything I do is regular printer paper size. It don't it's never any bigger than that. So I thought this nine by twelve would be perfect. Got it out, plugged it up, and it don't get hot enough. It needs to be three hundred and sixty five degrees and that little machine only goes to um 320 degrees so I packaged it all back up and I sent it back and it's just you know I just can't seem to get ahead enough to buy me one and I really 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 feel like it terrible but it would help me in my in my classes that I do help me you know teach everybody how that I put pictures on quilts and it would make life easier and like I said if you can I appreciate it if you cannot I absolutely completely understand but anyway the um Delana so Delana Delana Wise I think I pronounced her name wrong probably but she is the winner of the 250 subscriber giveaway. Thank you all so very, very much. And um, I appreciate it. And we will do, I'll, I'll give away a quilt on the 1,000 subscriber celebration. Thank you. Have a great night. I think it's about 1130 on Tuesday night. But I finally got it done. Finally did. Finally got everything lined up to do this. Thank you all so very much. Bye-bye.